Warren Buffett made headlines in February when investors learned what Berkshire Hathaway bought and sold the prior quarter. Notably, Buffett and his team sliced Berkshire's positions in Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, U.S. Bank Corp., and Bank of New York Mellon, while increasing their stakes in Apple, Occidental Petroleum, and Paramount Global. Today, we're looking at three stocks to avoid in Berkshire Hathaway's recent portfolio. Now, these aren't bad companies. In fact, quite the opposite. All three of these companies have carved out what Buffett would call economic moats, and those moats are stable. However, we don't think these companies are trading at an attractive margin of safety, which is another key pillar of Buffett's approach to investing. In other words, the stocks of these three companies don't look undervalued to us today. That's why we think they're Warren Buffett stocks to avoid, at least for now. The first stock on our list is Procter & Gamble. Now, in many ways, P&G is a classic wide moat Warren Buffett kind of company. One of the world's largest consumer product manufacturers, P&G's leading brands include Tide Laundry Detergent, Charmin Toilet Paper, Pantene Shampoo, and Pampers Diapers. In fact, more than 20 of its brands generate more than $1 billion each in annual global sales. Now, the company generates reliable cash flows, boasts a sound balance sheet with low leverage, and considers bolstering shareholder return a key capital allocation priority. But that being said, we think Procter & Gamble's stock is worth $126 per share, and the stock is trading above that. The next stock is Aon. Aon is a leading global provider of insurance and reinsurance brokerage solutions, and is therefore a good fit with Berkshire's insurance interests. Now, the company put up some solid growth numbers for the recent quarter, as it enjoyed tailwinds from a harder insurance pricing environment, economic uncertainty, and the positive impact of higher interest rates on fiduciary income. Now, we think Aon has carved out a narrow economic moat and possesses a solid balance sheet, and the company is run by a strong CEO in Greg Case. However, we think Aon stock is a bit overvalued today. We assign shares a $261 fair value estimate. The final stock on our list of Warren Buffett stocks to avoid is Marsha McLennan. Now, like Aon, Marsha McLennan is in the insurance brokerage business, and it also enjoyed relatively strong underlying growth last quarter. And here, too, we think the market is overly focused on recent performance for Marsha McLennan, which was helped by those same tailwinds, including a harder insurance pricing market and economic uncertainty. Now, the company earns a narrow economic moat rating, and we think management has done a good job of improving profitability. But we think shares are worth $137 a piece, and they trade well above that. For more stock ideas, be sure to subscribe to Morningstar's YouTube channel and visit Morningstar.com.